Apart from times where my man and I are just so hot and bothered and we just want to, you know, climax. <laughs> we just want each other. I cannot remember a time where he doesn't go down to eat. I, I, I don't always go down to suck the lollipop. It's not my favorite thing to do, but he wants to eat type of situation. And if he was not... um. Wanting to or not going down there, I'd be worried. Like, eh, something is wrong. <laughs> something is definitely wrong. You know, you need to be able to sit on the couch or at a party or wherever you are. If your man wants to rest his head on you, you can just feel. You can't be feeling uncomfortable. You can't be feeling uncomfortable to stand up. Ah, no. If you're smelly and stinky, go to the doctor. If you can't afford to go to a gynae, go to the clinic. And guys, ladies, stop being uh, ashamed of going to public clinics. Go, it's free. Why are you ashamed? Because it's free. You don't even have to pay for that shit. Yes, the the sisters and the nurses or whatever might be a bit weird or whatever. But at the end of the day, it's their job. They deal with vaginas. They deal with funny smiles. They deal with all those things. Well, then you must just go in, get what you need to get, do what you need to do, and get out. But don't sit around. And you're smelling fishy or you have some green funny colored discharge no don't do that are you are itchy you're itchy and stinky no no get up get up and go sort out your situation whatever if you have a situation you understand? i can't sit here and say to you you can't you can't have a situation these things happen some of you women out there are in committed relationships but you are committed and your man is not committed and then he does something you're sleeping with him without protection and you get something it's a problem now you even scared to tell them you know that you're faithful but you're scared to tell the person that has given you something that hey daughter something ain't right you understand no you need to love yourselves love yourselves your private parts they are fun they, they are yummy places they're fun they should be fun. They should be kept clean, fresh. So I'm saying, if you can't afford to go and get a wax, it's fine. Don't get a wax. Some people feel very uncomfortable. Like myself, I feel uncomfortable. I don't want to open my legs and... So I shave. I shave. And if you are shaving, use a blade once. Don't use it twice. I... Don't do it. You'll get bumpy and then your vagina is going to start looking funny. Just strange it's <laughs> great is you know just keep it fresh you use your blade ones you usually you can get a pack i think of six or four shave it or get a wax whatever else it is to keep it clean and if you don't want to take all the hair off just take a scissor take a scissor stop being embarrassed of your vaginas most of us we have broken mirrors a mirror that is broken sometimes some, some time ago you go into the bathroom cabinet you know i'll find it you put that thing, you put it there. I, I don't understand why women are so afraid to look at you. You must look at your vagina. You should know what you're working with. How do you let a man look at your vagina and you can't look at your own vagina? It's yours. Not only look at your vagina, touch it, feel it. See where your, your, your pleasurable spots are, where they're not. Why not? Why not? Because in your sexual experiences, you can guide your man to where it is enjoyable and where it's not. Don't be embarrassed about it. It's a body part. It's a body part. It's your vagina. It's your body. It's, it, it, we're not getting into sex in this video. We're going to do another video. But it's crazy how some women 
have had sex for so many years, but they've never come or they've never had enjoyment, but they pleasure other people because they've never touched themselves, never felt, could say, oh, where are these yummy spots? And if you're in a loving, caring relationship, you need to be able to tell your man, this is where I like you to touch. This is where my spots are. The, the, if he doesn't figure it out on his own. Because not everybody is some kind of porn star. <laughs> Bash me, kill me. Ah, eh, nah. We all get our stimulation in different parts. It's your clit, it's your this, it's your that. And you need to be able to communicate those things. If you're a grown-ass woman, you need to be able to say, Baby, this is how I like it. This is how I don't like it. And with that comes with knowing how to take care of your JJ. Clean it nice. Clean it simple. Your vagina doesn't need a lot of things. And if you have a funny smell or something that you are not comfortable with, something that you're not recognizing, Go to the doctor. Can't afford a gynae, go to the clinic. Whether you get funny looks or whatever, sort your situation out. Because if you don't, you can't open those legs again. That, that's embarrassing. What are you going to do? Don't tell a perfume. What You know what I mean? We go to a kitten pepper, like Miss Exo was saying. No, don't do that shit. Please. If your vagina is not wet, you're not getting aroused. You know this men's clinic? I'm pretty damn sure that you can go and speak to someone about your situation. Why am I not getting If you're young and stuff. I know if you're going through menopause, I'm not there yet. But I'm sure there's, you can speak to somebody and find out why am I not getting wet? Why? You know, what's going on? What can I do? You know, maybe it's something that you need to change in your diet. Maybe you need to exercise more. I don't know. Maybe you just need to find the places. And I was maybe you just need to touch yourself. Touch yourself and figure out, oh, this feels good, this doesn't. And then communicate it with your partner. Right? But at all times, keep it clean, keep it fresh, keep it nice. Okay, so when it comes to feminine hygiene also, for me, I don't use tampons. I never have used. I used tampons once um, for a trip that we took to Durban. Um, we were swimming and what have you and what have you. And, yo. Oh, I sent my man to the shops and he got me these big jumbo fucking biggest. Like, I have a small vagina. <laughs> my vagina is small. Right? So, putting those, it was so uncomfortable and so weird. But I did because we were swimming, we were enjoying, we were in the ocean and what have you. I've always used pads. I like pads. I just feel like everything just flows out. That's it. I know, I'd go check it now, change it as frequently as I want to. Um, for me, that is number one. And also, I think for virgins and people that are starting off with their periods or what have you, that it would be the most, and I, I, I like the thick pads, you know. Um, sometimes I get... Um, I've been using um, Kotex for some time now, but I do like to get those big, thick, cushiony ones. Right now, I'm putting out Kotex because you guys know that um, I had a miscarriage and I've been flowing type of situation. So, but even before that, I was using Kotex. Um, always is good. Even stay free is fine. I like those cushions, those thick. I, I, that's just me. I like that comfort of that. I feel secure, you know. Um, use tampons, whatever, it's fine. For me, it's just, personally, I don't feel clean using a tampon. It's just uncomfortable. It's just in my vagina the whole time. I want something in my vagina the whole time. Especially if it's not pleasurable. <laughs> it's like, mm, get out of my vagina <laughs> type of situation. And then also, when you're not on your period, um, just before your period, obviously you have some discharge. When it comes to your discharge, assess how does it smell? How does it look? You know what I mean? Your discharge is not supposed to be yellow or too thick or green or funny colors. Maybe a day or hours before your period, it's a bit brown because you're about to bleed. But like in JJ, it's not supposed to be funny. And you as a woman, you'll know. If that's the case, then seek help. Please. Um, 
you can use panty liners for that as well scented or unscented and if you have daughters right i've already started talking to my child she's eight years old and before she was eight we were already starting to talk about periods because she sees my pet my pa my packets of pads what's this mommy so we, we i got into that conversation and I'm very comfortable to speak about it. My mom was comfortable to speak about it to me. She didn't hide anything. My mom never hit periods, sex, nothing. Told me everything. So it's very easy for me. Maybe for other people it's uncomfortable. But for us it's not. You know? And I feel like this woman needs to get to a place where you get comfortable. Because you're a woman. You can't change the fact that these things are going to happen to you. Type of situation. So use your panty liners. Some people don't like the scented stuff. I do. I think they're so cute. Some of them smell like um, they have these baby fragrances or whatever. They smell as, for me, my vagina doesn't get irritated. Another thing is that I noticed growing up that my vagina is very different from other people. Like I said, my vagina is very small. Um, When I would look at my friends when we're getting ready or whatever, their vaginas, like every, like, Banali, they, they say to me it's malebe, right? The clits have extra skin and it's just falling out of their vaginas. Not to say that that, that is a bad thing. Apparently, sexually, men love that. I, I don't know, it's like hugging or whatever. Mine, everything is just inside. You don't see anything hanging out. It's just a small little vagina. <laughs> So I, I would question my friends like, well, what the fuck? <laughs> it was shocking for me to see. I didn't see that at home. My, <laughs> sorry to say, but my sister's vagina is also very small. My mom's, you understand? That's our anatomy, I guess. So every meaty anything <laughs> is inside. It's just So when I saw that with my friends, I was like, <laughs> are you okay? I'm so sorry to laugh, but that's, that was my natural reaction. Like, <laughs> are you fine? What the fuck is going on? And then they would explain to me, no, that's how I actually found out about my labia and that your labia can be longer or, you know, just juicy. And I was like, oh, fuck, I didn't know that shit. Even with my friends, we chuckled about it because then they would look at my vagina and it's like, you look like you're five. Like, you know, what the fuck is wrong with your vagina? Why is everything hidden? And then at some point, I actually felt bad. Like, oh, does that mean my vagina is not juicy enough? But with my man, he's like, no, 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 your vagina is different. But it's like, wow. You know, I mean, he's seen other vaginas. And for him, it's like amazing. Like, wow there's no meat like there's nothing hanging out of it it's just you know what i mean so um i'm, I'm sorry if i made anyone feel uncomfortable about amalebe and meaty vaginas um let's face it there are some men that enjoy that and then there are others that don't i don't know what that feels like some women don't know what my vagina feels like um it's nothing to be embarrassed about and i'm not embarrassed of like my man literally says to me, your vagina looks so young. Like, <laughs> you, you know what I mean? I don't know how to explain it or whatever. I'm not embarrassed of it. I'm don't um, make sure about anybody else's vagina. My thing is just keep it, keep your vagina clean. And if you, if you're my friend and something is going on, I I know this from my friends and my family. If something was going on, we would tell each other, okay, I show me. No, Huang, how am I like? Why need this heat? You know, and we've been in those situations with our friends, and we told them we actually no, something is going on, and they take care of it because we're women, so we should be able to discuss these things. So me personally, I don't use tampons; I use pads. In fact, the thicker and the longer, the better. I feel more secure because nobody can see your pad, and if you see my pad, sissy eh, putty, I'm a woman. I bleed every month type of situation but well, what can you do about it what can you do no suction my blood out make me not bleed no there's nothing you can do all right and also men do usually like your natural smell they like your natural taste 
And you will know this if your man is consistently always... It's like they... <laughs> sometimes men are like thirsty, you know? It's like the first place he wants to go is just rummaging through your vagina to eat. <laughs> It's so cute. It is so cute. <laughs> but like, if that changes, if that's a situation and then it changes, you must know that there's a problem. You know what I mean? I don't know what it is about men wanting to eat your vagina. Because I know a lot of women, they don't really want to suck dick. <laughs> we don't, <laughs> you know? Unless it's just one of those moments where you're like, mm, nigga, I'm, a, I'm, I'm, a, I'm about to do some things to you that you ain't going to forget, you know? But yeah, um, yeah. I guess we're gonna get into that when we talk about sex. Um, keep it clean, keep it fresh. You really don't. It, don't be douching. I know. I watch. I think I watched it on Netflix, where this um, porn star lady was douching her butt because she was doing it from the butt. No, this. You don't have to do those things. <laughs> Unless you've got a problem. <laughs> like, seriously. And I'm, I'm not laughing to make fun of anyone. But, like, unless you have a problem. You don't have to be putting your fingers up there to clean it. If there's fingers going up there, let it be a pleasurable moment. You know, let it be your man putting those fingers up there. Whatever. Or the person that you are should bang bang in. But you don't, you don't have to clean your vagina like that. What's up, fella? Anything that's in your vagina... It's self-cleaning. It will drop out. It will clean itself. Alright? Your vagina doesn't have to smell like, like roses. It doesn't have to smell like Chanel. It, no. It must smell like a vagina. Because human beings, as much as we are human beings, we are animals. We like that smell. We like... Rihanna was right. I may be bad, but I'm perfectly good at it. Sex in the air. I don't mind. I like the smell of it. You know what I mean? We do. I don't know about you. I, I like the smell of sex. This is a turn on. It's like, oh, mm, damn. You know what I mean? <laughs> Type of situation. And then also, what else do I want to say? Okay, so I told you guys about pads. I don't like tampons. Um, don't douche. Um, just wash it naturally, as natural as you can. Don't spray nothing there. Don't do those things. Oh, underwear. Oh, and then, yeah, use um, panty liners if you like. Unscented or scented. If your discharge is kind of tricky or whatever, or if it makes you feel comfortable, use that before your periods. And then underwear. I wear cotton underwear. Uh, I would show you my underwear, but, like, that's weird, isn't it? I've seen people showing on their underwear on YouTube. It's like... I've got nice underwear, but like, why would I want to show people my panties? <laughs> That's so weird. Wait, wait, hold on, hold on, let me finish. Right, um, best underwear to wear is cotton underwear. It's breathable. And if you have a big fat butt like mine, you can get, <laughs> you know, all these big, comfortable sizes. The short type of underwear. Short type of underwears that are very stretchy and nice and flowy. And then I wear silk and I wear lace, you know. One thing I don't really wear, which I have, but then I whoop it out on special, special occasions or when I'm trying to be like, I'm trying to say it, but hey, you know what it is. <laughs> I'm like, thong, 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 thong. <laughs> I hate them. <laughs> but you know what? Sometimes you need to sacrifice and just play bomb. My man likes them. So, you know, sometimes I'll whoop them out, but I hate them. I hate the fact that there's something in my ass <laughs> the whole time. Um, it's not comfortable. You know, I like full coverage, nice, or cute coverage, short like. You know, just a little bit of butt cheek or whatever. But yeah. I, I wear cotton lace and um, silk, but preferably wear cotton. And preferably, preferably because now it's winter, but in summer, I usually sleep without any underwear. I can just sleep with a t-shirt on, don't even actually wear like sexy 90s, which I actually want to kind of get into just for the heck of it, you know. Uh, just for the heck of it, and because I'm a sexy girl. 
I'm a very sexy, yummy, hungry <laughs> that girl. Um, but usually I'll just either go to bed with a boob tube. Um, usually no underwear, and that suits me just fine. There's no creepy crawlies coming up there. The only creepy crawly that's coming up there is your man. <laughs> that's only creep. <laughs> And I sleep that way just to let it breathe. So that your vagina just needs to breathe and just, you know, everything let it let out. And also, you know, if you, women shouldn't always wait for the men to initiate sex. If you are trying to get frisky and sexy and dirty and naughty, go to bed naked. Go to bed. So I literally, I'll wear a boot tube or a t shirt and I'll go to bed. And obviously, one thing that's a norm and a must is we wrap our legs around each other but like when that hand comes or you know something touches my butt or whatever it's like oh you are really ready all the time type of situation hello you know what i mean so yeah and also having sex is good for you drink a lot of water i drink tons of water as a matter of fact i stopped drinking um tap water there's a lot of fucked up things in there fluoride things that you don't want buy water it might seem like it's expensive to do um in my house we might buy like a 10 liter that can last us a week until the weekend five days all of us Right, and I drink the most water. So, drink a lot of water that flushes out anything, anywhere. It's gonna keep you fresh all the time. All right, but the most important thing I think for feminine hygiene is, and also when you and your man are about to get it on, make sure his hands are clean because he's touching everything. Make sure his mouth is clean. Bacteria can be transferred in all different crazy. I know sometimes you guys are drunk and you just you get into situations, but try to just for that situation. If he's going to eat, if your man is not the type of person that brushes their teeth all the time, he needs to at least, you know, zam or something because you can't say, ah, he's drinking alcohol, it's gonna be clear. No. Don't, no, 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 no. He was eating ribs, everything before. That can contribute. Now you have a problem because your man was eating ribs and then he, he went down on you. It's a problem. No, don't. It's your vagina. You understand what I mean? Anyway, I don't know who this video was actually aimed for, but I think older women, sexually active women, um, so on and so forth enjoy your femininity enjoy your sex enjoy your sexualness enjoy your man let him enjoy you let him eat men love to eat i, I don't know what it is but men want you to sit on their face right and you when you're sitting on that face baby you want that situation to be fresh so to be fresh but you don't have to be washing cut these things and stuff the more natural the more enjoyable that's facts on period if you don't believe me i will get someone onto this channel to come and tell us about it to give us a male perspective if you guys actually want a male perspective let me know and then we can do it. you guys if you guys haven't already please do like share and subscribe to my channel and i'll see you in the next one don't forget you guys keep it fresh keep it clean keep it natural and He's going to enjoy it, but you're going to enjoy it as well. Ooh.